Country guitar soloing, in particular, playing melodies. So the strongest thing you can do when it comes to soloing in any genre, but we're going to talk about country guitar playing here, is playing strong melodies. Now everyone wants to play hot licks. Hot licks are great. You know, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, you can feel lots of cool fast songs with hot licks. But if you're playing like you know a standard kind of honky tonk song, it's all about the melody. And you might put a couple of fancy licks in there here. Here and there, sprinkle them throughout just to keep things exciting. But it's really all about the melody. And the biggest inspiration for the melody comes from the actual melody of the song you're playing. So it's always a good idea to actually know how to play the melody of whatever tune it is that you have to play. For example, let's look at the tune, you know, Swingin' Doors by Mel Haggard. We do it in the key of E. So if I just play like a verse of this so you can get an idea of how the tune sounds, we get. Essentially, it sort of starts like on the fifth, you know. We get to the A. that's a melody and I would learn how to play that in as many positions as possible all over the fretboard so that when you take a solo you can borrow from that and if you can just dip in and sort of tip your hat to the melody at various times it will lead to a strong solo the other really good thing is to actually sing what you play if you can't sing it don't play it that's a really good exercise because it just forces you to phrase because obviously you've got to breathe and it forces you to really connect your thinking with your fingers so that you come up with strong melodic ideas. I'll just try and thrash out a couple of choruses here and give you an idea. It's a really good thing to just pick a tune, like a really good, like a classic Merle tune or a Willie song or a Johnny Cash song. Learn the melody. They're not hard melodies. Know the chord changes and just sit there for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it takes, and just thrash out some ideas. Maybe record yourself. And you'll start to develop sort of things that you like to do. You could just play the melody straight first time through. Then the next time through, you might add a bend. You might do it in bends, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
every single thing that I play, I can hear, I'm hearing it in my head and I can sing it. Doesn't necessarily mean that my pitch is like always perfect, because I'm not going out there to actually sing my solos. It's all about coming up with strong melodies and that's the best way to do it. There's not necessarily really any exercises for this or any licks because it will kind of defy the purpose of it to learn a lick. The best thing is to just learn the melody. False and Prison Blues, really simple tune, very good one to just learn the melody and then try and come up with something that's similar to that. And there are times when I kind of deviate from the melody for the best part of a chorus and that's kind of okay um, because I've laid down that groundwork of playing the melody before. Now in the context of a gig, you might be lucky to get eight bars of a solo, uh, depending on what kind of gig it is. If it's like a four hour sort of um, lower Broadway Nashville gig, you might actually get to take a couple of choruses. And that's when you can kind of really deviate and think of it more in terms of like a jazz solo where those, those guys get to take you on a journey a little bit. But if you're doing something that is a pretty short, sharp solo, maybe you split with another instrument so the steel takes the first half, I'd be pretty faithful to the melody, you know. And it's quite an interesting challenge, like how can you take that melody and turn it into something that's your own and pretty funky and spicy without just playing the notes of the melody. And yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear, you know, any um, videos you guys have got, you can put them up on, tag me in them on Instagram or leave a comment here with a link and, you know, I'd love to hear it. and. I'll, I'll have a listen and make any suggestions. But uh, yeah, if you've got any other questions about country guitar playing stuff, please drop me a line and I'd love to, to help out. But uh, give this a try. I think you'll find that it really just adds another dimension to your playing. Melody is king. That's the most important thing in this kind of music. The melody is king, not licks, not fast stuff. It's all about melody. So keep it real, cats, and I'll catch you uh, next time.